Uh, those four pages lay out the whole picture. You know, suggested uh, a whole number of games, uh, two-player games, single-player games, black and white games, color games, uh, based on very primitive circuitry, which is all we felt we could afford. Think back where the technology was in 1966. In the early days of integrated circuits, uh, we just gone through four or five years of transistor circuitry, left vacuum tubes behind, and, and all the stuff I built, even the same as we're still vacuum tube but hardware. Uh, there were no such things as microprocessors, and uh, computers were the size of a house and cost millions of dollars. So and what I had to do, if I was going to do anything at all, is to come up with something very primitive and simple. But the idea was to replace watching uh, Channel 3 or 4 or 6 or 7, if you're lucky enough to be in a big city, you maybe have got three or four channels, with something other than uh, the broadcast fair. So I put a guy to work, a technician to work, set in a little room inside, put him in there, ish, and the, and the, the, the facility people wire up the bench for us, and one of the top, uh, an RCA, I think it was a 19 inch. Console sat, sat down on the bench, gave him a chair, a desk, a file cabinet, and had him go to the store, buy a plastic rifle, made a light down on that rifle, put a spot up on the screen, and shot up the screen, and wiped the spot off, and that's how we got started. Uh, and we brought in uh, the uh, director of uh, research and development, and he, he fired at the spot, and he got pretty good at that, and he shot at it from the hip, he got pretty good at that. He gave me 5,000 bucks of direct uh, labor and I think $500 or something like that for direct material. It wasn't exactly Princeton, although well, we have to multiply the numbers by about five. That's what we found to our dollar in the interim. Uh, that's how we got started. Within a matter of uh, a couple of months, we had stuff up on the screen. Uh, one spot chasing another spot, wiping it out on contact. The, uh, uh, the uh, uh, rifle games were, yeah, were in place, and a few other relatively trivial games. We demonstrated that to management, and their reaction was, I will make money off this stuff. And there was a basic question I couldn't answer at the moment. So I didn't know much about it, uh, uh, commercial hardware, certainly nothing about uh, consumer hardware. I'd been in military electronics for a number of years by that time. So the question was what to do with it. Why did uh, Sanders, which is a defense company, allow you to do something like that? Well, as I said, I ran a division of 500 engineers and tech support people. And to put somebody aside and have them do something I wanted done on the QT, uh, didn't even ripple my overhead, so overhead, oh, I just did it. <laughs> Until we finally decided that, yeah, we need more money. We had to get honest and, and display it. As it was, uh, the demonstration I did to the president of the company and the executive VP for whom I work uh, happened on a day when the board of directors was uh, in session. So I had to, to speak to a whole bunch of people, important people. So to make sure that I didn't blow it, I took an audio tape recorder and recorded the introductions of all seven games we had at the time on a piece of audio tape on the audio cassette. And we built a little FM oscillator at 4.5 megahertz. I summed the output from that oscillator with a video signal, and uh, when we played the video tape recorder, that uh, allowed the uh, audio signal to come out with a loudspeaker, as you said. Here we were, 1967, <coughs> demonstrating uh, these four introductions. Uh, another first. Uh, you think about it, there's a lot of TNA of what we did in today's case, uh, we had uh, joysticks, we had light guns, <coughs> and we had boys. Uh, boys signals, uh, all of which are still around today. In any event, uh, yeah, the, the, but now that we've got something that looks like it might be fun, what do we do with it? <coughs> uh, 
That's a great question. The board found it. What did you do? What did you decide there once you had it?